Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I've been a finance analyst for the last six years. Today I'm going to run you through some financial performance methods as well as some investment appraisal techniques. How to calculate working capital. Working capital is made up of two parts. It shows your current assets and your current liabilities. If you're unsure of how to find your current assets and your current liabilities, it's worth just going away and reading upon them and knowing which financial statements they come from and what components that, uh, make these up. In terms of working capital, it, it's a measure of both a company's efficiency and its short-term financial health. So a positive working capital means that your current assets are greater than your current liabilities, which means that you possess more than you owe. So that means that you're able to pay off your short-term liabilities. Negative working capital means that a company currently is unable to meet its short-term liabilities with its cash and its account receivable and its inventory, which means that the company may face problems in the short term. The problems would be that you can't pay back your creditors or even potentially bankruptcy if it's quite a severe case. For example, if we look at the calculation current assets minus current liabilities, if your current assets are made up of cash of a thousand pound and accounts receivable of two thousand pound, then we'll say that your current assets equals three thousand pounds. Now if we look at your current liabilities, so if your account's payable is £800 and you have an overdraft of £1,000, then we have current liabilities of £1,800. So to get your working capital, Simply take your 3,000 and subtract your current liabilities to give you your working capital of 1,200. So that means that you can meet your short term liabilities. Obviously this is quite a basic summary of your working capital, but if you look at what goes into your current assets and liabilities more, you'll get more of an understanding of what drives the, what drives the number. The working capital is beneficial to investors as it gives them an idea of the company's underlying efficiency in operational terms. So is the money tied up in inventory or is the money that's still owed to a lot of the customers? And then the investor can gauge whether they can pay off their uh, obligations or not. Similarly from a management perspective, you may want to alter the level of in inventory that you owe or if you've got a lot of cash tied up, then you can put the cash to better use and invest in it in either machinery or into um, a bank account that generates you a higher, higher return than you'd currently see.